in our discussion about the histamine H2 receptor antagonists, we will cover topics including their mechanism of action, therapeutic uses, pharmacokinetics, and adverse effects. So the H2 receptor antagonists work by suppressing the gastric acid secretion by competitively antagonizing the histamine H2 receptors located on the gastric parietal cells. So on this picture here, you can see the parietal cell and on the parietal cell, you have multiple types of receptors, including the histamine H2 receptors. And those are the receptors that are blocked by the H2 receptor antagonists. Now, after a meal, when the food reaches the stomach, it would activate the stretch receptors in the stomach, leading to increase in the gastrin secretion from the stomach G cells. Now the gastrin would go on work on the enterochromaffin cells in the stomach to increase the secretion of the histamine. And then the histamine would go and work on the H2 receptors on the parietal cell and this would lead to increase in the cyclic AMP which lead to the activation of the protein kinases which will lead to the breakdown of the H2CO3 into a bicarbonate and a hydrogen ion. Now the hydrogen ion would be secreted by the proton pump into the stomach lumen and that is where it will bind to the chloride which is also secreted from the parietal cell to form the hydrochloric acid. Now the H2 receptors would work on this step here so they would block the H2 receptor and this would suppress the gastric acid secretion. Now the FDA approved H2 receptor antagonists include the semitidine, the famotidine and the nizatidine. Now let's talk about their therapeutic uses. So the H2 receptor antagonists are FDA approved for short-term treatment of uncomplicated gastroesophageal reflux disease and they are used for short term because of the possibility of developing tolerance to these medications and this will be explained in the adverse effects section of this video. Now they are also FDA approved for treatment of gastric and duodenal ulcers and they are second line because the proton pump inhibitors are the first line in treatment of peptic ulcer disease. Now they are also FDA approved for treatment of mild to infrequent heartburn or indigestion. Now off-label uses of these medications include stress ulcer prophylaxis and that is in trauma and burn patients and they are also as a second line because the proton pump inhibitors are the first line. They are also used off-label for esophagitis and gastritis treatment and they are also the second line after the proton pump inhibitors and they are used in gastrointestinal hemorrhage treatment and they are also the second line because you know it, the PPIs are the first line and they are used for treatment of urticaria and they are also used in H. pylori eradication therapy as a second line because PPIs are the first line and they are used in heartburn during pregnancy and they are the second line because the antacids are the first line in treatment of heartburn during pregnancy. Now let's mention some points about the pharmacokinetics of these medications. So the H2 receptor antagonists are available as oral formulations and they have good absorption after oral administration. Now their onset of action starts in about an hour after administration and the duration of action is around 4 to 10 hours and all of them have the same efficacy in decreasing the gastric acid secretion. 
Now let's talk about the adverse effects. So the H2 blockers are generally well tolerated. So the uncommon adverse effects that comes with this medication include hypotension, headache, drowsiness, fatigue, abdominal pain, constipation, or diarrhea. Now the cimetidine and famotidine may lead to central nervous system side effects in patients older than 50 and the CNS symptoms include delirium, confusion, hallucinations, and slurred speech. Now the cimetidine is worse in producing the CNS side effects and the famotidine also does produce them but to a lesser degree. Now also in the adverse effects, prolonged and high doses of cimetidine are linked with development of gynecomastia and reduced sperm count and impotence in men and they are also linked to galactoria in women. And this adverse effect is solved with the drug discontinuation. Now, it is also important to understand that patients can develop tolerance to these medications. And tolerance means that effectiveness of a medication would drop down in the use of the same doses. And that is because of the receptor upregulation. And tachyphylaxis, on the other hand, it means an acute sudden decrease in the effectiveness of these medications after administration. And these adverse effects occur within 7 to 14 days of continued treatment with these medications. That is why these medications can't be used for longer than a week. They have to be used intermittently or as needed. Now another side effect which is the small bowel bacterial overgrowth or Clostridium difficile infection can occur with these medications but it is rare. In comparison with the proton pump inhibitors, proton pump inhibitors cause much more small bowel bacterial overgrowth or Clostridium difficile infection because the proton pump inhibitors have more efficacy in reducing the gastric acid secretion and the gastric acid have an antibacterial features so if it is reduced to a higher degree it would lead to small bowel bacterial overgrowth and that is with the proton pump inhibitors more than the H2 blockers because the PPIs reduce the gastric acid more than the H2 blockers does. Finally, let's talk about the drug interactions and that is the cimetidine. The cimetidine is a potent cytochrome B450 enzyme inhibitor. It raises the levels of medications that are metabolized by the CYP, for example, the theophylline, the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, and the warfarin. Now, as you can see, the cimetidine has significantly more adverse effects and interactions than the nizatidine and the famotidine. And that is why the famotidine and the nizatidine are used much more than the cimetidine. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please give us a like. Comment your ideas and questions and subscribe.